Welcome to Simply Made Cocktails. My name is Eric Thoreau. Tom Jones. And we have made it to Hump Day, and this is Cocktail Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, hump yes. Day. Yes. We're halfway make it, and we're still alive. So basically, if you, if you refer back to our Monday episode for our review, we reviewed another, a second flavor out of the four flavors for Tippy Cow. We did the chocolate, and we basically went totally off subject matter, really. We talked about chocolate and stuff, but we went, no, it's him, because he finished it first. So he had that sugar rush for the chocolate. <laughs> so we basically went side sidetracked and didn't really describe the, um, the flavors, but we got, you know, the overall message was there. It was delivered. It's a great product. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a cocktail for you that's called the Almond Delight. Almond Delight. Sounds yep. good. We got this actually cocktail recipe courtesy of Tippy hyphen cow.com that's their website so we're gonna to go ahead and do it once you go ahead and get the ice put it into our base here of our shaker okay and i'll start off with uh, mixing actually i'll do the tip cow last because it is thick so we want to make sure we get all of it it's a half ounce of coconut rum and i uh, don't mind any particular brand Oops. Just okay, just throw everything on the floor. I don't care. You know, you know, I have a janitorial service, not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put on these. We'll see if this just works. Yeah, okay. So, is that almond or almond? Almond. Because some people say almonds. Well, Give me you, some more almonds. It's be from the south. I think they say it from the south or from back east. Maybe. But I think it's, it's almond. Okay. So. For the coconut rum, you can use Malibu coconut rum if you want to. You can use, you know, Cruisin. Cruisin's a better brand than Malibu, I believe. Mm -hmm. But we're using ultimately Blue Chair Bay rum. Blue Chair Bay. Uh oh. Hmm. It almost brings me to Hawaii. Almost. Almost. But I'm going to hold on. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Almost. Look at that. That's Hawaii right there. You remember that beach last week? I th this brings me to the Bahamas. Yeah. This is Bahamas. I mean, last week, yeah, that's when we did the coconut vodka. Yeah. Yeah. This one has, just from the the bottle, it has a little bit less coconut node to it. Yep. So we did that. We did a half ounce of that. And then, so you could choose any of your coconut, just plain coconut rum. You could do that. Or even if you feel lucky, you could switch it for the um, the coconut Ivanovich that we did. Are you feeling lucky? <laughs> well, are you punk? Are you punk? So, and then we're using one ounce of amaretto. We're using top of line here, you know, we're using Lazzaroni. We love this stuff. We don't cut corners around here, I'm telling you. One ounce. All right. I mean, you can use Luxardo, which is also a top shelf brand. Lazzaroni and, and Luxardo are the top two. Or you could go ahead and, and you know, do, uh, what is it, Diamore amaretto which is down there and you could use uh, if you really want to struggle you could do disarono diamore which diamore. is more of an al amaretto flavored liqueur so and then we do our one ounce of tippy cow chocolate of course it doesn't have tippy cow it just doesn't exist yep and what's the whole purpose of doing this recipe for the tippy cow yep hell to the kip tippy tippy cow I was getting distracted there and almost over poured. I was like, oh damn, I'm gonna have to drink it. <laughs> but now let me double check. Sure, it. Okay. use any excuse to yeah. have to drink extra of that. <laughs> Go ahead and grab the top there and, and let's shake, shake your cow. <laughs> At least I didn't say shake your monkey. Oh yeah, that was like last, last week, week, huh? <laughs> yeah, it, was that like, got you? it was like, huh? Can I take away? Can I edit it out? No, we can't edit it out. So, question for you. You know what they call when at the end of the night at a bar and you have all that spillage from just general usage of making drinks onto your bar match? You know what that's called when you drink out the liquor from it? Uh, cheap drink. It could be that, but it's called the Harry Buffalo. Oh, uh, Harry Buffalo? <laughs> I wonder where that came from. See, uh, I don't know. But I want to thank Ian Andrews over there at CMC, you know, for that reference. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. Whoa. Let me go ahead. It was so iced up. Remember, you got to, yeah, you got to, it's, it's like a Boston shaker. You got to tap the sides. 
cut the multiple sides. <laughs> strainer? Jeez. Oh yeah, I forgot about the strainer. And I was going to say, you're the one with the muscles. <laughs> Go ahead, we're going to pour it in these Rebel Martini glass that just came in actually from Awesome Drinks. And awesome. Basically, I believe the last ones came to us. Really? We got the last we set. We got the last set, huh? So you'll have to see what else is available for you on. Is that your influence awesome. that you used to make sure that we got those last yeah. sets there? Personally, no, I'm the owner of Awesome Drinks, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, all, it almost kind of makes you kind of awesome in a way too right six degrees of separation yeah well i'm gonna say from a color standpoint boring well I'm just, bored. It just yeah like a little bit light and chocolate milk yeah i can't really smell much it's neutral in, in the fragrance so i'll go ahead and test it out all right Oh. So, look at the, look at the uh, shape of that drink. Now, is that, do you kind of hold it like that, or is this more like this, or? You hold it whatever way you like. Okay. Well, once you get it into your mouth face. <laughs> get into that mouth face, and you know, not on the carpet. Hmm, not bad. It, um, why does it take, it has a little bit of cinnamon, a slight cinnamon. Or maybe that's the, that's the almond. All right, well, that's the almond. That's the almond. almond. Okay, that's maybe that's, that's the almond. That's part of a little bit of this. Um, Definitely taste the rum. Yeah, because you got two helpings of rum. You got a little bit of rum from the tippy cow, and then, of course, you got the coconut rum. Yeah. But see. I don't get the coconut node. I don't get that. No, no. So you get, but this you is get a, the rumba. This is more like a, a dessert cocktail. Yes, definitely. It is refreshing. Uh, if you shake it up, especially as much as I did, um, it's actually nice and refreshing and it's just like a good summer drink evening summer drink in the library i didn't know the library's allowed drinks none was alcohol i'm talking about the library at home in the mansion oh in the crib oh in the pad in the pad in, in the la crib. casa well you, you i don't know I, you kind of lost it you lost the whole crib you know i did the casa El casa? La casa. La casa. La casa. Tu casa es mi casa. Si. Por supuesto. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I don't want to get you lost. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have any comeback for that, sorry. <laughs> it's like, what the hell did he just say? It's like, uh, My house is your house. Let's see. No, I, I got that part, but I was like, okay, then the little, uh, other part. Anyway. Por supuesto, but of course. Yeah, oh, okay, but of course. <laughs> don't stop but of course. Huh? You're going all over the place, huh? And we haven't real, we haven't had much to drink today. Maybe that's why we're kind of cuckoo. I haven't had much to eat either. Oh yeah, there you go. Been sitting around doing housework and working on the computer. Yeah. So, but anyways, get back to, back to the drink. <laughs> we got. Anyways, this is the almond delight, and it is a delightful drink. I mean, yeah, we get the notes from the almond from the amaretto. Very good. We get the um, the rum notes. Not too much. Alcohol level, I would say two. 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 You get more rum notes. You don't get but any. But would you, would you give it a three? Because I think on on Monday, didn't we give that a two just for the rum? But because we're doing the double rumba, wouldn't you say it's a little more rumba, rumbush? Rumbushes? I might have to give you a three because you're pointing to the wrong one. We were like, here. This one, yeah. <laughs> Not the orange. <laughs> I don't know. They look all the same. They're all white, you know. But maybe if this one was, maybe if that's they, orange, that's yeah, brown. but but maybe if the orange there was like an orange label right here, and maybe a brown label okay, and a black I'll, label. I'll and call stuff. the owners of Tippet Cow. Hey, yeah, this what's my co-host? You know, he wants you. That's why he doesn't. Nah, it's okay. You know what? As long as you keep making what's in there, that's all that matters. Really. Yeah, that's content. all that matters. Yeah. So yeah. it could be just a plain clear bottle. I don't care. Yeah. So, well, actually, you want to cover because clear bottles, alcohol could go bad on clear bottles. Oh, because of the sun? Yeah. How did so. I know that? Oh, I look Corona. Here. Corona? Yeah, I learned that from beer. Yeah, the Corona Extra, the Corona brand, it's a clear mm -hmm. bottle. It's mm -hmm. one of the first beers to go. Bye -bye. Yeah. That's why they try to sell it to you really fast and so cheap. Mm hmm. So, but, anyways, the Almond Delight, great cocktail. We suggest that. And it's a dessert cocktail. It's one of those things where you have it dinner party at your home and then you want to decide to go out for the night on the town this would be a perfect cocktail 
You know, there'll be great desserts out there. They're like maybe like a, a chocolate cake will go good with this too. Oh yeah. So, but anyways, my name is Eric Thoreau. Tom Jones. And this has been the Almond Delight Cocktail on Simply Made Cocktails. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more delightful drinks, cocktails, shooters, and wait till we ha see what you see that we do on Friday. We're actually doing a special personalized cocktail, or actually a shooter for Friday Night Shooters for a friend of mine who just got hired as a, a bartender. All right, congratulations. So, it's here for the bartenders. So we'll be doing the, uh, a special drink just for her so that way she could have her own, you know, her own shot to serve up at her restaurant. Nice. So anyways, appreciate that, I'm sure. we'll see you on Friday. Until then, take care and have a good one and drink responsibly.